Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the questions that uh, you have from a viewer is about the uh, Google Chrome. And let's actually add that to even more to uh, even the uh, Microsoft Edge extensions. And of course, the question that comes with this is that um, he has the impression because he's got several extensions uh, from an ad block to several extensions that go with um, document formatting that he has that are really interesting for him because he often takes a lot of content from the web and the extensions he uses help the browser um, you know share that information with say word or any other uh, software that he's using so uh, one of the things that he was asking is uh, if the fact that his Chrome browser is slow uh, could account the, the could the extensions account for uh, sluggishness of his browser and the, the, the definite question or the definite answer is yes the more remember extensions are little pieces of software that are embedded within the Chrome browser the more extensions you use the slower your browser can be so there's a lot of things that can happen um, one of the common questions that I've seen over time is some websites not behaving the, the correct way and often I will mention well did you look at uh, the extensions that you have that have to do with say your antivirus a lot of third-party antivirus install their own protection extensions within Chrome and that impacts performance of websites you visit it can even impact how a website might be broken or not or not just not show up correctly um, that's why I always hate any antivirus that adds extensions to other software uh, the intention is I understand you know uh, good because they want to add protection everywhere the problem is is that it also impacts the performance of all these pieces of software and especially the browser when you're browsing the web uh, too many extensions here and too many extensions that check for different things uh, is usually not a good thing so as you notice here I have no extensions except that Google Talks Docs extension which is um, simply a it's there by default by by Chrome uh, because I do not want any performance hit and I don't want and I don't need any extensions to do anything within the browser but it's fine to use extensions the other thing to be careful about extensions that you might have in your browsers is um, the fact that it can make also the browser crash this is a common effect of having too many extensions when you've got too many extensions um, it's like having too many too, too much programs too many software installed in your PC and Windows the more you install stuff the more you can at some point get into problems and that means if you have too much of those there could be some interaction I often mention this is like going to the doctor and there's you know prescriptions of pills then you go see another doctor and he wants to fix a problem with another type of pill and oh there could be an interaction between those pills and you don't feel right well software is the same the more extensions you've got the more the, the slower the, the, the browser will be and react and the more chances of browser crashes also so what I often recommend is it's fine to use extensions but just use the ones that you actually really need and forget about you know any extension that does some slight little thing that you find cool but is not necessarily needed if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching